Hi everyone, Power to the Buster here. And we are going to take a look at Diamond Select, um, Ghostbusters 2 Select figures, uh, which is obviously wave two of the Ghostbuster figures. Um, as usual, if you hear noise in the background, that's just the furnace going, uh, trying to keep warm in here, um, which is working, but you know, of course it kicks on when I'm doing my review. Anyway, <laughs> back to the video. Uh, yeah, these guys I have on um, stands. Uh, this one isn't. So, yeah, let me uh, get to what I like and don't like. So, first new feature that I do like is the clear leg holes. Unlike these yellow, I don't know what they was thinking here. This yellow string, it's, it's pretty bad. So, that's one positive. What um, I don't like, the proton stream is still this this shitty uh, <laughs> orange and blue, which honestly would be better if it was transparent like this in orange and blue. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, also, it still comes with this piece, uh, which I had it on the figure, but it started weighing down. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, let me see. I make sure I got this all lined up right because it's certain way. Okay. Yeah, the Proton Stream works, but as you can see, it tilts. Let me get a closer look here. Let me see if I get a little better focus, y'all. Because it want to focus on Ray. I don't know why. Why does it want to focus on Ray? I don't know. Okay, there we go. There we go. But yeah, you see it's kind of drooping down. So that's another problem. So, also, it would be awesome if they had like a, a round blast effect or something coming from the wand. Yeah, you see how I just had to tilt it? It's supposed to be like this, but, you know, so it's not very good to display them with that it's for long periods of time. Because I had it on the shelf about a good two or three days, so, yeah. Uh, also, this figure is smaller than the rest, so it's not a carbon copy. Even the body is smaller. <coughs> um... What else? Uh, the proton packs are a lot better. It's the same design overall, but you know, there's more screen accurate stickers, unless man was just missing them on here. I don't know. But there's a sticker. This one's sideways. It's supposed to be straight across, but whatever. Uh, the packs also, let me see, there's something else. There's also more coloring at the top. See where that blue and yellow is? It's solid black right here. Matter of fact, let me point it out to you if y'all don't see it right away. Let me see if I can do this with one hand, y'all. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Okay. All right, there we go. See, uh, right here, the blue tip with the yellow. Here is just solid. Um, also, uh, any more stickers? Yeah. This is also missing a blue sticker and the uh, silver sticker. So I'm assuming it should at least been one of those on here. So I'm assuming they all didn't have it. Just guessing, just, you know. Otherwise, oh, also the pack seem to be made of a different material almost. Like it's the same, but it's a lot cleaner here. Um, I will show you guys using this guy, but <clears throat> there was an issue where you couldn't get the gun to stay on. Like, you could get it to stay on a little, but not the way it should. Like, the way I got this, I've been working at it, getting the grooves to hold and, like, mold it different so it'll actually hold and slide in there right. But at first, especially with the uh, figures that came out before, this quitting time ray, you couldn't do it. And yes, I cut my strap off because I took the pack off. <laughs> But yeah, you couldn't do it. This is still gonna flop out. So like, I, it's probably not gonna do it now that I'm talking about it, but you know, anyways, <laughs> on the other ones, it's gonna pop out still. This guy has the correct stickers. Um, there's a lot more yellow on this one. I prefer the coloring on this one, the wires, but you know, this one is, more screen accurate 
So again, the uh, here's the side view. Uh, I'm going to also do a comparison with the Ray. Um, also, if you guys want them to have it on their belts, like in the films, <coughs> just use the keyholes like this. And there's a little notch here. You just feed it right through. So yeah, and that's been working out pretty fine. These guys also come with accessories. I didn't even take them out the packaging, such as extra hands. But the extra hands is useless uh, for this guy, at least for me. Because on Ghostbusters 2, they didn't use gloves wearing these. See, this one fit perfect. I mean, yeah, this one's nice now. Sorry, guy. But let me see if I get him to stand. They come with stands, but the stands is kind of pointless. It should have been two pegs or whatever. But yeah, this one actually stays on 20 times better without modifications. So, yeah. Um... As for the figure, okay, so what happened here? Uh, either one of two things, either, okay, this one, the face is painted. So it's molded in, I'm guessing the black color since the flesh tone here is overlapping the black, but the paint is pretty heavy that you lose the features. This one, either it's molded in the uh, color or they didn't put so much paint on the figure face so you get more of the details because the, the likeness is kind of here you know I, I think the eyebrows I don't know if you guys can see it let me put this guy down I don't know if you can see it but there's eyebrows under the eyebrows but it's painted over top of the eyebrow see what I mean so meanwhile you have this guy who's perfect representation of the guy i mean he looks just like dan Aykroyd. also the hair is darker which i want to say this is more screen accurate but then again on the second movie this could be <laughs> the color of his hair it could have been lighter brown yeah yeah yep i'm assuming it's molded in the skin tone and painted over the hair is painted so yeah, you get more of the detail, so more of the likenesses with these new waves. I don't know if I can head swap them. I'm not going to try it because I'm not a, a you got. Hey, uh, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm Ray Stance of the Ghostbusters. I'm Ray Stance of the Ghostbusters. Um, sir, being a Ghostbuster, you're going to have to give me back that body because um, you don't deserve it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right enough of that but yeah the figure is the same body wise even though this is quitting time the original has the same body just the paint they removed the leg holes here which is uh accurate uh move that out the way uh let's see what don't i like they still don't have double leg uh, double leg double elbow joints it's still missing you can't get that perfect particle thrower grip because it's still missing the double hinge on the elbows so that's still a bummer so it's like yeah they can hold it but it's a little awkward like the way he got it it's it's not the way i want it to be held like if there was a double elbow you could bring it up a little more get them you know a better grip um what else uh, before I run out of my time? Let's see, uh, any other problems? You know what, actually that's pretty much it. Otherwise the figures is pretty good this time around. I mean, <laughs> they weren't that bad before. Hey, focus on Ray. I must got on autofocus or something. But it wasn't bad as uh, the originals. I mean, these is actually pretty perfect. Yeah, I gotta pick up Vigo still, but yeah, once I get him, you guys will see a video on him. So, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So, you know, um, I'll catch you guys later. Power to the Buster. Out.